Hello again and welcome back to Crafts by the Bow. In my last video I showed you a little box that I'd seen on the internet and Angela from Intertwine Designs had made and I'd used her measurements to make the box and then inside I'd put four little envelopes and four little note cards with these ones. And I promised I would show you how to make the box. So let's pop those away. Put that over there. And this time I've used the Eastern Beauty set and I've done a little bit of stamping from it, but I've mainly used the die cuts for my note cards. So I made five very quick and simple note cards just using die cuts and some of the DSP paper. Just a quick little set of five to go in the box with the matching envelopes. I'm going to give you directions for the box. I will put all the sizes on my blog though. The first thing you need is a piece of card 10 inches by 10 inches. And I just used one of my 12 by 12s and cut it down. On the first side, you need to score at two inches and at eight inches. And I found it easier to do it at two inches, flip it round on my trimmer and do it at two inches again. On the other side, you need to score at four inches and six inches. And this is the piece that's going to make the box. The lid is cut from a second piece that starts out at nine and one sixteenth by five and one sixteenth and I've scored it at one and a half inches on every side. Now we'll make the box first. You need to cut up the score lines. On the edges like this. And then before I mitre them, I just fold on the score lines. You can go over it with your bone folder. Just down all of the lines. And then I'm going to do the same with the lid. So I just cut down the middle pieces. And then score. You can score before you start to cut, but I find sometimes it's just a little bit easier if you've already got some of the pieces cut because you're able to get a more exact score. Okay. And we'll do the lid first. On the little corner pieces, I'm just going to mitre it a little bit. Just so that the box folds flat. both edges oh, is it the different one on that one ah, never mind put those away and then I'll use my fast fuse and I'm just going to tape on these pieces now you won't actually see the outside edges or anything because we've got DSP to put on top. And 
and then the same on my box here. I'm going to mitre the inside square first. You could do this with longer scissors if you want to, just to stop you having to trim and snip quite so many times. I like my paper snips because they're so sharp. Okay. And then we're just going to make it so that the little piece goes on the top and then this piece over so that the, the little the smaller piece is actually in the middle when we glue it down. So I'm going to glue the back side a bit here. And stick it down. Make sure it's square. There we go. And then glue all of this piece. your lid. Now we just need to put paper over and for the lid I've cut pieces from the Eastern Palace DSP. I do have odds and ends of it left and um, most of it is double-sided paper but the ones with the gold accents are single-sided and I'm going to use the one with the gold accents for the lid. So you need one piece cut at one and three quarters by five and three quarters and that is for the top then you need two pieces cut at um, five and three quarters by one and a quarter for the sides and then two smaller pieces which are one and three quarters by one and a quarter that just go on the edges now a smart thing for me to do would have been to have put the dsp on before i glued the lid together End of my fast fuse. Well, let's just get some, excuse me, I'll get my snail. Yeah, I, if I'd thought about it, I could have done that, couldn't I? I could have put all my paper on Oops. while it, before I started to glue it together and while it was flat. Never mind. tell you when I was shopping this weekend um, here in Canada I went into one of our local stores and they have a British Isle and I, I must say I frequent more than I should and uh, I noticed on their um, British Isle they have a Tesco Isle and they had these fizzy cola laces and I think there were 60 cents in um, for the weekend and they're just like cola bottles, so I've been sitting reminiscing about cola bottles and uh, fizzy cola bottles and eating my Tesco's finest laces. <laughs> so, simple things please me. Okay. And then just the piece for the top. And for the base of the box, I've used uh, one of the contrasting DSPs. And I've used this one because I'd put it on, some, on all of the cards and I just wanted the box to match a little bit. It's got this design on the back. And the two big pieces are cut at five and three quarters by three and three quarters. So I'm just going to put, this is the front and the back piece. on here. 
same for the back. Doesn't matter which way up this paper goes, but if you have a directional paper, like I did for the lid, just make sure when you cut it out, you've got the pattern running just the way you want it to. And then for the side pieces, you'll need two cut at three and three quarter by one and three quarter. These will go just on the edge. And just to finish off the box, just check that the lid fits. Yep, that fits nicely. To finish off the box, I put some ribbon around. And for this one, because my um, cards and envelopes are cream, I thought I would use the vanilla and gold ribbon. And what I did to attach it was I used tear and tape. And then 